Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, the Kaizen Shaco collaboration is live right now. We have two programs. One I believe is 26 weeks, the other one is 30 weeks. We're talking huge macro cycles here. One is a little bit more competitive. If you plan to compete, it'll bring you up into a peak, uh, into a test week in the gym, and then reset and get you ready for smashing PRs on the platform. The other one's more of kind of an off season um, type of programming that's uh, three blocks of 10 weeks. There are Great for anybody that's kind of in this intermediate stage. If you feel you need a little bit of competitive edge, you want to follow a long-term program and you want to follow one of the best coaches of all time in strength sports, it is available right now. And it is available for pre-sale. So grab it now, discounted price, and you also get this exclusive shirt from Kaizen and Shaco. Check it out. Link in the description below. Enjoy the video. I guess to uh, wrap it up, um, what does strength and powerlifting mean to you? And, and who should power lift and why should people uh, have a part of strength in their life? Для меня сила, например, без знаний это не сила. Сила без техники это не сила. Грубая сила, он за грузчиком, который схватил мешок и пошёл шатаясь от водки, как попало. Это грубая сила. So for him, mm. knowledge or, or strength without knowledge is not strength. Strength without technique is not strength the strength that of just is rude strength it's just um the strength of someone who is like a dock loader uh, and just picks up bales of something and throws it somewhere that's not strength to him я хочу сказать что не секрет что у каждого тренера у которого много спортсменов есть спортсмены которые можно сказать глупые не хотят что-то знать а есть очень умные и работать трудно и с теми и с теми Working with intelligent athletes and not intelligent athletes is a challenge both ways. Working with intelligent athletes, thinkers, you have to make sure that you're able to answer their questions because if you are not able to answer their questions, they lose trust in you. And you have to stay always one step ahead of their knowledge. But the good news is that you can trust them to be reasonable and make good decisions. On the other hand, if you have less intelligent athletes, training them is the easiest thing in the world when you're around. You simply push over a plan to them, they do the plan, that's it. However, when you're not around, for example, if you're with another athlete at another championship and they're stayed by to train off season, or if you're like uh, uh, Professor Shaco is right now with a set of seminar, then you're not around and you've written things down and the program changes, they don't feel so good, something happens, you can't be sure that they're going to adjust the plan properly. As a matter of fact, you know pretty well that they're not going to adjust the plan properly. Поэтому, когда я вижу, когда тренеры встают в позу и говорят, я все знаю, мне не нужно ничего, не надо меня учить, я и так без вас все знаю, я считаю, что такой тренер многого не добьется, потому что я уже 40 лет в спорте, и все равно я каждый день просматриваю, кто что-то... Бывает у молодого тренера, увидишь такую изюминку или фишку, как говорят, что хочется, скорее надо пойти в зал и попробовать ее испробовать. Если она действительно хорошо действует, я обязательно ее применяю и вставляю в программу. So, you know, uh, it, it really bothers me when coaches say, well, you know, I know everything already, you have nothing to teach me. Is I've been in this game for 40 years and every day I learn something new. And a lot of times it's from younger coaches. A younger coach will say something or write something or post something online and then my first response or his first response is to go, oh, wow, I wonder if that works and just rush to the gym as soon as possible to try the new technique or the new strategy to see if it works. So always uh, a good idea to keep learning. Appreciate it. Uh, tell him thank you very much for uh, the information, the knowledge, uh, the years he's put into the industry. He's done a lot for lifting. Uh, I've looked up to him and his uh, style of training for a very long time. Uh, and many lifters uh, in the U.S. and around the world uh, are grateful for uh, his work and his knowledge. Yeah, I believe that there's still a lot to do. He said that, you know, uh, Hopefully, it, in, in the future, there's much more, you know, sort of like, thank you for what you said, but there's much more to be done in the future to improve the sport and push it along. I think there's so much that with these programs, we can explain to you, but we can do, for example, a seminar for young trainers. So it's like something that, you know, potentially we could look forward to is uh, a, a coach education program by Sheikho himself 
that in individuals it's great that we're making these programs and releasing them to people, but maybe the next step is to have Shaco directly coach coaches that could then take their new Shaco abilities and help other people with them. Yeah, it sounds great. Просто не то, что как я вот я некоторые вижу, что э, приезжают тренеры, также я в самом деле иногда приезжаю и за один день все тренер не может рассказать всю методику, всю технику, но тем не менее в конце однодневного семинара выдаются сертификаты, что он уже специалист. Здесь как минимум надо неделю. So is a, you know, something like this would take probably a week. So it would be like a shake a week long seminar because he says that there's a lot of seminars and even he's done them himself where, you know, after like a day or something, you get a certificate like Shaco certified, but he says that's a little bit illusory and that's better. It would be a more intensive effort for coach education to make sure people really learn the deeper principles behind the work. Ну, я в свою очередь тоже хочу это выразить благодарность за то, что вы предоставили мне возможность свои программы, свои идеи донести, донести или довести до американских атлетов. And, uh, 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 Dr. Shaco also wants to thank you as well and, and your team for giving them the opportunity to uh, bring his training methods uh, to American athletes and the American public. Yeah, tell him thank you and we hope to uh, represent him well and, and spread his knowledge. Спасибо большое. Мы мы хотим, чтобы мы мы хорошо помогли вам выучить всех в Америке. Я постараюсь. Thanks, Dr. Mike, for spending the week with us, helping us out, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Professor Boris Shaco, his knowledge. We'll catch you later. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed this series of videos from Mr. Shaco, the quick interview, getting some tidbits. If you want more of that information, we have tons hours of exercise and interview with the Kaizen program. But I think it was a good way to mention, you know, to summarize kind of what he said is just continue learning. Uh, I think a lot of us um, and me, myself, and I have gone through this process where I became a trainer or got into strength training when I was 18, 19 years old. And by 21, 22, I felt like I had it all under control. I knew what I was doing. I didn't need to read any more articles or watch any more videos. And then maybe I'd stumble upon a video, you know, every six months or something uh, that made me rethink like, man, I don't know jack shit. And then I would continue to learn. And so I think you kind of go through this phase as a beginner where you feel like you're comfortable and you know what's going on um, and you begin to learn and get hungry and then you get too comfortable uh, and you stop the learning process and as he kind of mentioned what strength and powerlifting is is you're always trying to be one step ahead of your clients and you're always trying to learn uh, and that's what kaizen means uh, continuous improvement always focusing on progress, always trying to get better. So I couldn't agree more. Our time with him was awesome. I learned a bunch and hopefully you guys can uh, share some of that information. But so from here, from other coaches, from other programs, from other videos and YouTubes, just always continue learning, always trying to lift everybody up. We're all trying to get stronger together. I appreciate you guys. Be sure to check out the other Shaco videos there a couple weeks back. We'll put them in a little playlist uh, here on the channel. Appreciate you guys. Subscribe, thumbs up. We're out of here.